E3 begins. Uh, my name's Calm for Game and Just Start. I'm here with you. Uh, and we begin with E3. And their, uh, E3? EA. We do begin with E3, but we, but begin, we begin with, with EA, EA and their press conference. Um, it was not a good open. No. Um, <laughs> I don't think it was a good open. But... No, like it, it kind of went back to two years ago where they had a lot of stuff to kind of talk about. And they all talked about a lot of things but didn't really let you see any of it yeah really. especially the star wars stuff was that was, oh, that we'll was get to that, so but, depressing but okay. we'll, we'll get there so from the top yeah uh, they introduced their cool dual cam satellite live shooting from two yeah. separate locations thing so they had one in san francisco uh, one in near e, near e3 and one in london one in london in the hammersmith london, london hosted by peter moore yep who I think did a better job than yep. than the Andrew three thousand that presented the other one. Uh, yeah, dystopian future yeah. dictator bot, yeah. guy. which was cool, but it was very from a from a watcher perspective, it was very distracting because they had they always had their their screen behind the presenting, yeah, and it would cut to the other stage with the other stage on the back like it was this yeah. weird it was like watching inception again like they just yeah had, had this camera on camera effect was... yeah but you you brought up a good point and that by doing that they then had to cut to full screen of the game a lot because yeah. they were swapping and they had to high transition yeah to stuff. so there was a lot of like all the stuff they showed was like full screen like here's just the footage which is that great you want to see more of that let's hope sony listens yeah but yes so they outlined what they were going to talk about yeah uh they asked if there were going to be shovels which is pretty weird Yes, remember they like went through a whole thing of like are there going to be x y and z oh yes for the and shovels stuff. was one of them yeah. i don't know that's weird yes but anyway they start off titanfall 2 yep which looks which, very impressive unfortunately like the the leak that happened like hours before the yeah the single player campaign where they just where response went fuck and yeah. got the whole such, uh, i don't think they thing. panicked they just went ah oh, well it's out now I mean, it's gonna just, happen yeah. it was quite weird actually because on twitter um vince and Pella started posting pictures of their booth and yeah. they've got like models and like real life size creatures there like, oh it's a really cool. cool looking booth all right but then they said well now it's leaked here's all this stuff yes yeah, so they did the single player really footage cool. again uh and showed and they showed some multiplayer they showed footage yeah they showed some actual multiplayer footage which featured things like well there was a lot of like the usual stuff of people like jockeying on backs of uh sure. titans and stuff like that but also showed cool new things like titans doing massive ground pounds yes and it's got a grapple hook because every video game needs yeah, a grapple hook like that, like it was the most EA way to end one of those things yeah. where they had two titans both pilots launched themselves out of their titans the eject thing the one in the air grappled the other one and fly kicked it in midair Which as they were pretty fucking them. great it was um, like they'd, they'd seen just cause and go we should take yeah. a bit of that that was yeah. that was pretty good we talked about how there's like six new titans new customization options basically everything you want from a sequel to they sure. made a very important point about saying deep customization or deep progression progression because that was the problem with the yeah you just thought. didn't get like, a whole lot you, why would you ever use anything except the first gun yeah because the first gun was the best gun yeah like so, so they, they seem to have fixed that which and then the single player stuff because it leaked after we recorded our last video yeah and um, they're going proper narrative this time mm-hmm. there is a it is the story of a man and his titan there's a man with a name that i can't remember and the titan's called bt is and, the called BT? yeah because there's a shot of him falling through the sky and he screams bt and he catches him there's a really obvious joke about having to wait in uh, 12 hours to get your titan repaired because it's bt yeah but i'm yeah. not good i can't form it quite yet. but yeah he's the the robot has a voice and yes. Spoilers, they, he's probably, they, he's probably they, going to die in that game. They, yeah, they stole that moment from Last Guardian. Yeah, the catching the guy, in the air. Yeah, the yeah. guy jumps into the void and yeah. the, the robot grabs I call it now, internet, about the, towards like 80% of the way through that campaign, that robot gets a sword through his chest. Yeah, that robot's gone. Yeah. Like, that robot is your fluffy companion. Because it's like game. all about the, the dynamic between pilot and robot and yeah. all that sort of stuff. But. Yeah. I thought actually originally when they, when they started doing it, it was going to go more like the fall, where it's an ai trying to struggle with the oh right, right of an AI and then... right no no no. it's all just but i mean like they, i need my they, they showed it's more titanfall they showed it's more deeper titanfall and they still had the thing where the robot grabbed the guy and shoved it in his chest yeah. so i'm happy chest had giant uh, iron man unibeam thing totally. like big laser yep, chest big which was great um fuck I'd, i want i'll play more of that, that i think seems right definitely one more like uh next to my notes i just have, have written sports exclamation mark so specifically so this, this was american football sports first specifically madden the other football yes not um, not our football american football yeah i mean like it's hard for us to really talk about 
no. American football considering we don't I watch the Super Bowl every Super year Bowl, but, but I don't that's actually keep... about it and like especially with those trailers even people who know football yeah. and know those games yeah. it's like well that was a Madden trailer yeah like, there's, there's some people running around the pitch there's some, some cool moves of like good really, blocks and stuff they showed some very cool looking uh, well they did talk about they talked about how they've got their new commentary thing which is great because apparently yes. that was shit for a really long time they're doing proper commentary uh, they then spent a hell of a lot of time talking about esports and how esports yeah, is great. Time, I, I, I put this on Twitter, but time to esports was remarkably was really smart. fast. Um, so the thing that they appear to be doing is they are trying. There was another thing that did this, and I've been racking my brain trying to figure out what it was. But they're basically trying to, and this is not just over football; it's yeah. over a lot of sports stuff. Is they're doing basically esports championships official? Yeah. So they're they're using a sim. I don't know if this is how it works, but there's like a similar system to like Magic, where there's like larger regional tournaments that get filtered down and stuff yeah. like that but these are like so they've got i've got it written here they've got premiers they've got majors and they've got challengers right and challengers are like run by the community yes but the ea has set up systems to let them run it yeah and then majors and premiers are like ones run by they've EA. Ran, but they're about premiers right. are like the big ones and yeah, majors yeah. are like the little ones yes uh, which is cool i guess puts more structure to it's totally sports. i mean like and they did the, the cardinal sin of they brought real esporters onto that stage i tried to make banter with tried them. to make banner and it didn't work yeah like this is the this is the problem it's the same thing that a lot of people talk about when they talk about indie game indie developers being interviewed is that these people are not trained on how to talk to a camera no. unless they are like youtubers or twitch streamers no yeah if they are just gamers who are good at what they do and yeah you put them in front of a camera with peter murray and say you should talk about your thing they, they go, just uh, go uh, yeah um but yeah yeah it's a cool it's a cool idea and if it is a good way for them to like push the community yeah which is something they've been the cool to the, 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 the funny thing i found was peter murray stood on stage and was talking about how they're gonna put in they were like and we're putting in one million dollars and all that sort of stuff yeah but then you like look at dota that's had yeah, like 11 million or something it's yeah, fucking stupid number yeah. you're like okay that's good i guess but like you're it, not it would be interesting hitting. to see if people would watch FIFA like like live fake Madden. football over real football. Yeah. Well, I mean like like uh, fantasy football's huge, right? Oh, I so... guess, but that's more. But fantasy football is more just about you drafting and like getting numbers. And oh, totally. Like you're. It's not about that. you. Actually, Would you watch real football and then once real football's done, watch two f- people playing fake football. No. Which looks like real football at this point. No, because I would never watch real football. Well, not football. you. I'm saying... Sure, yeah, yeah. That's that's the is gamble. Is that a thing that, that they, yeah. they want to do? And you end up with like what they're... I mean, if you... If what the pitch video comes to light, they're, you're going to have end up with famous Madden players. Sure, yeah. Which famous gonna, esports people. Famous esporters. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's going to work. We'll they see. They tried it before. They it tried it with the UFC and it didn't work, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, they did. Uh, so they then moved on to Mass Effect Andromeda. Yes. Uh, they talked about how it's like about, oh, if humanity's out to find the new world and the yeah. Andromeda galaxy and you're on your own. and you've Which got was, always the, was always the pitch, right? It was always like you've been sent to go explore a new world. It's not like you're an envoy to no. our current world. It's like, no, this is far flung. Brand new. No one's ever seen Frontier. it before. Talked about how it's so the Frostbite engine and still have cast in the story. fucking good. Looks Game incredible. Looks real good. good facial animations and all that there sort of stuff. There was enough stuff in there that made it, enough weird camera angles that made it look like it was actually in-game stuff. Yeah. And it's frostbite, so we're no. Could look that good, it's a good, yeah. It's a good base. Uh, not enough of it. <laughs> no, no, just I mean, not enough. I wanted, to, I wanted. To, like, it, you never think you would say it, but I wanted a guy on stage talking yeah, about a gameplay. A demo. classic EP gameplay yeah. demo. That's I want somebody I wanted. playing. I want somebody to tell me what's happening on the screen. Yeah, but um, but the stuff that was there, like really cool characters. It looks like they're doing. Yeah, the, literally nice. It looks like they're doing the they're doing the Mass Effect thing. Which yeah, I they then the the uh, dystopian future man got back on stage yeah. and talked about their uh, play to give initiative yeah so you you have the details on yeah this, so this was a, this is their giving they're giving money to charity based on in-game yeah like achievement like goal style things yeah and it's like they have they've picked four charities and stuff like that so it's like five things like something. five like special effect and code and uh, one of the transgender he ones he is... for she that's the one no that's not is that that's what that not is? that's for okay. it's uh um it's for uh oh no let me get this right i'll look while you check this <laughs> i want to make sure i get this right sure. because it's not anyway, that so they were gonna do they're good they're they put they're putting in in-game achievements for different games uh based on charitable things so like there are battlefield things where it's like you have to help people who are in need and all that sort of stuff to gain get bonuses for the video game sure and charity 
Um, which is a really cool idea. Totally. Um, sorry, he or she is to get um, it's for gender equality, but cool. rather than focusing on uh, like advertising to women, they're advertising to men to help promote gender cool. equality. Okay. Uh, to, to so yeah, really, really good idea to they, get. It's it's a great thing, and they did make up for it. There's a bunch of people actually when they announced that thing on Twitter said. Um, it's kind of weak if they do this and then don't put any women on stage. But yeah. they at least had a, a, a good a, a good few, if not on stage, they had Jade Raymond on stage. They had Jade Raymond on stage and they did. And the, the video, like, Amy Henning was talking, yeah. the woman whose name I can't pronounce, but the head of Battlefield. <laughs> yes, that. Uh, Battlefront, Battlefront, sorry. Um, she was in Blood there, so at least, they, at least yeah. they got that in. It's just, I get what they're doing. Yeah. And it's a good thing that they're doing it. It's just one of those things where it's like, what happens if nobody does those challenges? Yeah, that's like it's a weird. True, you have like, to you have to incentivize it. You to should kind of, actually just be doing like he. Uh, you should maybe just be giving a charity yeah. instead of. And I mean, it, it depends if it's a way that like yeah, it's a weird setup. But at least strange, they're doing but it, something. Yeah, it's they're better than um, not doing anything. Yeah, uh, sure. I then have more sports. Yeah, so, oh, so but, soccer no, but, sports. No, but this was this was interesting sports. So this was soccer <laughs> sports. This was like, talking about FIFA. Peter Murray went on stage and talked about yeah. how FIFA has been around forever since nineteen ninety three or whatever. Really was. smartly, like we should have kind of seen it coming when they had the London side of this as well but they smartly went to London got Peter Moore on stage to talk about football yeah talk about how he loves Liverpool and all that sort of stuff that's how you do it yeah did it. really well um, so did all that sort of stuff talked about FIFA a little bit and then and then the best thing happened probably the best thing that happened at this conference I am so happy they got some guy Alex Hunter Alex Hunter is the name of the character yeah. that this amateur dramatics person he, he he's actually right. an he's actor. Actually I think he is actually an actor. Uh, got on stage and talked about how he dreamed of kicking a ball at a big field and wearing the lines on his shirts to play for England yeah. and all that sort of stuff. And then pointed at the crowd and said, "You're going to come with me." Cut to the FIFA equivalent of that goddamn NBA storyline that happened last year, but it's all super serious. Like they are being, they are not messing. It, it sounds like. I mean, we were we were pitching like who would direct it. And Guy Ritchie. Like Guy Ritchie directed. I want it to be like a gangster movie. Yeah, it, It'd be they're great. doing they're doing a proper story mode for FIFA with the whole kind of like I started playing football on the streets and yeah, and, I started and playing, playing with like shit balls and yeah, like, jumpers for goalposts and yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're, they're playing on on all that kind of stuff, and it was just there was so much there was so much bad English. Yeah, he had he had he had this kind of like angry old grandpa figure yeah. who was wearing the tweed and the there hat. There was the taxi driver with the flat cap, yeah. and you're just like, nah. I mean, it happens, but like you're also pitching this to the states. Yeah, sure. Well, you're doing it in much. London, though. Yeah, but like it's... you're doing like the Americanized version of London a little bit. Yeah, it's a bit over the top. But like, yeah, like. But I... still, man, I got really interested in soccer yeah. games at that point. Yeah. I really want to see what that is. I will. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I am interested to see like I still have a bunch of friends that are, are into their, their FIFA quite yeah. seriously. I'm very interested to see how many of them even touch it. Because like sure, you yeah. buy FIFA every year so that you can get people around to play FIFA. Like yeah. that's why you buy it. Same way you buy Or all in the league or whatever. Yeah, totally. Um or you play online or, or all this yeah. kind of stuff. Like Do wonder, pack openings on YouTube. I wonder yeah, like yeah. I wonder what happens like who are they pitching to? Like the people that play FIFA me? Do they want? Yeah, like maybe it's us. Are they pitching to people who like we know you don't like soccer games, so we've written this. So like a story. Story mode. Yeah. The journey it's called. But you're still gonna have to make me play football, like. But like, I'm still interested. Like they actually got me interested yeah. in football, which was a big thing. They got to the point where like I might. They then I like went down hell again and talked about how they got real managers and Jose Mourinho was there to stare at Peter Moore for a yeah. bit and. Man. That made me less interested, but story modes and soccer games. That's. Totally. A okay with me. I'm okay with this. Uh, they then talked about their replacement for EA partners. So it's it's was it called EA the originals? Originals. So this sounded like they are bringing back their old EA partners. Thing yeah, two years ago, where they were like helping people, and which was money. well, it wasn't even that they were helping people. Like this was big studios, but it yeah. was like promoting new IP was their thing. Yeah. Okay. So that's where Dead Space came from. That's where oh there was what was the other big Dead Space was the big Dead yeah Dead Space was the big EA partners thing um, so what they're doing is they're doing EA partners for indies basically yeah right? where where, which is where which kind of started with the Unravel thing last year mm -hmm. um, and they got another kind of scared Scandinavian person on stage he, to he talk did, about he did he was a lot more he was very good a little though, bit more yeah, calm than the last good. one but yeah so they, they announced Fee Fee F-E F -E. Uh, which is what he described as interactive storytelling and art 
Yeah. Uh, about no, man, they, they man, the man's relationship with nature. They said that they are stu- they are studio interested in yeah. art and interactive. Man's characters. relationship with nature, all about balance and your little fox thing. Yes. Um, running around the forest talking to people with song. Yeah. Because like every, every everything part, has its own every music. Every part of that was just like, yep, I'll. It's a really nice, going, really, really yep, nice looking you game. Sold me. Um, yeah. It's yeah, it's a really cool looking game. So and it's 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 it's. It's very indie. Yeah. It's a very indie and game. And it's also but... interesting if this, they're going to continue with this. Like, I don't want them to just do, like, one a year. No, if they keep they're... putting stuff out, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if they can go and find talent like that and say, like, no, we're going to put it, like, on stage or we're going to publish it through... Or we're going to promote it through EA. That's yeah. a good... That, I'm always a big sure. fan of that. Uh, and also, like, especially when it's something like EA, who are, who are a big company that still need to make money, there is a curation process involved. It's not like a Kickstarter thing where no, it doesn't just go, get shot. Like they are yeah. looking at these people and going, "No, this could do well. This will do well." Yeah, um, which it's is good. always a good thing. Yeah, yeah. totally. Uh, then moved up to Star Wars. No, they didn't. Well, <laughs> they didn't. They decided they decided to devote some time to somebody talking about Star Wars, which was Jade Raymond of all people, which yes, was pretty interesting. Right, Jade Raymond. Uh, so Jade Raymond got out on stage and said, "We're EA, and we have all these Star Wars games." They so we're going like, to talk about none of them. Put, like the names of like seven studios. Yeah, up so many there. studios, and then put in like some sort of weird package where they went went around studios and talked about <laughs> what Star Wars meant to them, yeah. and then showed none of their games. No. They, um, well, they, they talked about hey, there's new Battlefront. So yeah, coming. they said so. The, they had they said that Motive, which is the the company that or the studio that Jade Raymond is with, yes, is working with. The Battlefront guys to put a new installment of Battlefront next year. Yes. So you're going to get this a year? No, next year. Next, next year. year. Yeah, sure. Because they've got the Outer Rim expansion for Battlefront this year. Right, okay. Uh, the they... shots of some of that stuff, there was a lot of stuff from episode four. Yeah. There was like the prison from the Death the Star. The Bespin and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so there was there was some stuff in there that was recognisable and. It looks cool. It seems like they're still putting Battlefield, Battlefront, I need to stop doing yeah. that. Battlefront as like for your old Star Wars fans. Yeah. Like, they're they are doing the Star Wars. We're doing the original one, movies. Yeah. We're we're letting the story people do the new ones, and Old Republic is doing the yeah. really old. They talked they talked about the Old Republic and how that's still going. Yeah, and as did they actually announce anything there? I don't think so. They just said they just kind of mentioned it and said, okay. "Yep, these are they things that we're doing." Continuing to make this thing. Uh, okay. This is the Visceral's doing a game. Any, it's an action adventure game that Amy Henning's working they on. Showed a little bit of so it's some concept f- footage. footage of that a guy walked out of a hut on Tatooine during the rebellion earlier and looked you're up confident there's Tatooine pretty sure it's a desert planet and you don't really go anywhere else but Tatooine because people are boring what about Dantooine Dantooine's a forest planet is it yeah okay Dantooine where's the old, the old Jedi I'm not going to do that <laughs> uh, I like every now and then goading you into like I'll talk about it afterwards me, tell me, tell uh, me about like Super Style oh well don't worry <laughs> uh, I'll get to that uh <laughs> Re- they said that Respawn's also doing an action adventure game which is pretty cool Respawn yeah, cool. doing something on the entire fall uh, they then did their big package of going through all the studios where they did things like show it an X-Wing in VR yeah and everybody went ooh about that. There was, they had a place, the guy with the PlayStation VR looking around the next wing cockpit yeah which, which was, is which is totally just like hey like we've got VR in to the studio making Star Wars stuff what do you want to do with it put it as put an X-Wing, X-Wing? Like, put it as an what X-Wing see how I wanted True. Uh, yeah they all looked really nice, but they showed none of it. There was no and names. They should have no new titles. Give us a na- give us something. A, a, yeah, rough date for like anything. anything they could have shown us other than a man with a trench coat walking out on Tatooine. It's like like that was the, when, when that was it. When three seconds of footage is the most exciting part of a section of a show. Yeah, like that's something wrong. No, the there. most exciting section of this show was the goddamn. I mean, F- FIFA storyline of that section. Of that section, <laughs> right? Yeah, you're right. If you don't, because if you don't have anything to announce, like. Again, it was it was them filling time. It's like no guys remember we're doing Star Wars. We're doing Wars. this, and like yeah, but you need to and we mean it. Show us something. Yeah, and, totally. But so that was kind of sad. Like another year going by without seeing the Amy Hennig thing, and another thing, another thing without seeing what any of uh, any of their stuff. Yeah, like doing. anything is. Yeah. And they had to, and like there was more content in the um, Galaxy of Heroes bit of that. Yeah. Which was like, hey, we're doing some cool cool stuff, and like, yeah. here's cards. Look at these game, this gameplay footage that we yeah. can actually show you. Um, yeah, it was yeah. Just, that was really disappointing. It was really disappointing. Uh, I wanted at least some nugget of Star Wars to come out of that, and it just. I wanted as much Star Wars as they give me. I mean, I, I, at at worst, I wanted a little bit of like, here's a name, here's roughly yeah. what it's. I want, I want to know what it's called or something yeah. about it, but they just said, "Yep, they're doing it." Yep. And then Battlefield One happened. Oh, um, we'll get to that. But um, so Battlefield One, they they came out that their big big gameplay trailer talked about how 
it's the new Battlefield. Basically, didn't say anything. Basically, just thought about his new. I mean, the, yeah, like the, all the all the talk they actually did was like, "Yup, this is a battle. It's a Battlefield game. game. We're going to stream it after this for an hour and yeah, big matches with famous people. Yeah, famous people. people. <laughs> they've, got, they've got stuff there. They're doing a thirty-two player match. Yeah, big big thing happening. The stuff uh, they do every talk, year for Battlefield. The main change they thought about how they like have dynamic weather now. So apparently that can change In multiplayer. How, yeah, so that can change so, how the map works. Maybe which, which would be interesting. Which, which actually could change yeah. a lot of. Especially since it's like in that era, like if you have a lot of rain and they're really early tanks, they're going to get like bogged down, so you can't actually yeah, do anything. Depending on how they actually implement it, you might end up with basically three maps for the price of one. Yeah. Where like if you've got like, a map and then you're like, here's different. it at night time where you can't see shit, and here's when it's snowing and yeah. like yeah. your visibility's. So that could be kind of interesting. That was, that they, was, yeah. they then talked about how it's a battlefield game, sort of vehicles everywhere, and they've got this new behemoth class of vehicle yeah. showing a zeppelin, which, which is, is yeah. so massive. Fucking Which vehicles, is going to be basically. interesting, like, there's one person pile at that to fight. I would imagine there's, like, multiple. I imagine it would be, like, the Titan from 2142, where you've got, like, different positions so that like, you can fill. But also, but, like, is it going to be the same thing in every Battlefield game ever, where everyone spawns at the start, somebody runs to the Zeppelin and just fucking takes <laughs> off? Yeah. Like, I mean, the Zeppelin's not going to be quick, but... Yeah, you, you give people time to jump yeah. into it, yeah. But, yeah. Which also... Yeah, okay, sorry. So, then they, they said they're the people who are... I can't remember what they called it, the Battlefield special thing. Uh, the people Battlefield. who are involved in that are getting... Insider, insiders. That's the one, insiders. Are getting an open beta at the end of the summer. Yep. Um, or get it first. Get it first at the end of the summer. And then they showed their like longer gameplay demo that had like the CG but also in like, which game is weird, stuff. Which is weird for a number of reasons. A but lot also, of reasons. Like, they, they said, we're talking about Battlefield 1 and they showed that trailer that leaked a little bit before yeah. the game. Which was like the first bit of it yeah yeah and then they talked a bit and then said and now some gameplay footage and the whole first part of it was the same yeah so we were confused we were like they're they're showing the same video they literally hit the wrong button to hit the wrong trailer yeah but then it went into to actual gameplay stuff or what's supposed to be campaign gameplay yeah Yeah. now there are there's there are problems with this a multitude of problems with this but there's a couple of big ones which is like yeah, I I understand that it is a US company, and I understand that like they are. Well, it's hit- Dice, isn't it? So Stockholm. Oh well, yeah, it is a good game. Like um, when you're trying to put this game together, that there is a different opinion of or different feeling around World War One yeah. in Europe yeah. than there is in the States. That is. That's true. Yeah, that's very true. And especially for, like you say, especially for a company coming from Stockholm, you would think that they'd be a little bit. They have to approach this with a little bit of care. Yeah, be very delicate. Not even a little bit. They have to be very delicate. I mean, I, it, again, yeah. at worst. Yeah, like, at worst, they li- have to. Yeah. Like, pay lip service or something. Like, yeah. be do. I don't like. Ideally, you'd want them to be super respectful, but that that would be. That's why the. Um, I want to say Band of Brothers. It's not Band of Brothers. What was that other World War Two series that was all about the actual people that were there? Lock Brothers in Arms. Brothers in Arms. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's what Brothers in Arms did. They actually did stories that yeah. they took real people. They did their real stories. They did all that kind of stuff mm. so when you say you're doing a world war one game in battlefield yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of anticipation uh, not anticipate there's a lot of expectation as to what that's going to involve mm-hmm. like you're gonna have to have your big multiplayer you're gonna have to have your kind of your your kind of hectic combat thing yeah. but you the way they treated it in there they basically ran a call of duty trailer yeah which you you cannot do you can't do for World War for, one. for multiple reasons one just because it's world war one one because of the time of year it is where it's an, an anniversary yeah like and also and they played like weird the wrong music complete wrong music like, it was top. like yeah. it felt again it felt like a call of duty trailer like yeah. it was some kind of like weird like, Kanye West yeah the like top rap of it, thing, it was yeah. um i have no idea what song it was but it yeah. just it was super tone deaf yeah, and then, they, 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 it seems like they were completely blank to the like the idea of being totally. respectful to that yeah. sort of thing, and it completely, in my eyes anyway, completely removed any interest in it, or any of the stuff they showed, which was cool. Like, yeah, it, 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 it killed it. Yeah. It's like, well, like, you're you're not doing this properly. Yeah. Like, I understand it is you're doing this for you're trying to sell an you're action to sell shooter a game, video game, right? yeah. And but you have you have to know who you're selling this to in order for this to go yeah. over well and. And the one of the things I don't think a lot of people will care. Like, honestly, yeah. I don't think a lot of people will care, which is disappointing, but they should have at least done a little bit of, like... And maybe they will. Maybe in future footage they will go, no, here's what we're doing, but hey, it's EA, so we need to have big shoot sure, explosions. Right. Yeah. But, like, you need to have something now. Yeah, you should have 
Um, so they've done it a lot more tactfully. Yeah, the, there, there are ways to do it and running around with explosions and shooting is not the way you're doing without any kind of like, yeah. and here are the people that were yeah. involved in this, yeah. here's why it was important, all that kind of stuff. Or even just flat out saying like, we understand and all yeah, that totally, sort of like, stuff. But... If the guy stood on stage and said like, we are, we understand, but, or not even we understand, like we want to, we want to celebrate the people who fought yeah. so hard sure, for, sure. like you can, you can, you can, celebrate you can memory do that memory. while still doing that. And then it was, it was kind of unfortunate actually, but the hard cut to like, Okay, our press conference is over. Thank you for watching. Blah blah blah. Immediate live stream cut to some asshole sounding YouTuber yeah. who'd photoshopped his face on the battlefield one trailer, yeah. or a dude hitting a dude with a stick, it was and, really and like with like awful yeah. fucking meme text going by and bong smoker four twenty will be on stage, yeah. and you're just like, you, you should know, have done this. Like, like it was not... already bad. You've just yeah. made it worse. Yeah. Like it's it was. Terrible. It was really, really it was bad. Really bad. It um, really soured me on that on that game. So yeah, that was Actually. kind of it. And that was it. Like there wasn't a lot of content there. Yeah. Um, really bad start for E3. Yeah, I mean, like, like personally, Mass Effect continues to look awesome. That fee. Uh, yeah. as a, as the, a, the games that you actually cared about seeing they totally, didn't show enough of no, I, or any of. The to be concept, like, as a game, looks awesome. Yeah. And the fact that they're going to start funding this stuff is awesome. Yes. The um, story mode in FIFA. Story mode in FIFA. <laughs> I'm kind of interested in. We'll see. I'll borrow off someone in six months' time. Yeah, and try and play through. see what happens. Um, but the rest of it, there was just nothing, nothing there, there, which is or really what was there was kind of dire. And re- yeah, and like yeah, they did, they did do well. Yeah, for your first one at the gate. Yeah, and maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's one of the reasons why they moved to Sunday. Is like we do not have the bombastic style presentation that can compete with a Microsoft and a Ubisoft sure, or okay. an EA yeah. or a. Sony. Sony. So we'll say we'll push ourselves to the side. We will do our own thing. Yeah. We are running our own programming after it. And here's a bunch of battlefield stations. Sure. Uh, maybe that's how you do it. But it was just there wasn't. They needed more of the stuff that they showed. Yeah. They needed more of all of that stuff. Yeah. And they did not need Jose Marino on stage fucking talking about his. They're not even card. talking. Like barely saying yeah. two sentences about. Totally. It's fine. What, right. was, what do you think? I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I think that was a really poor showing. Like, I, it's, I, it's, it's, you can't say enough that they didn't show the things that they needed to show. And then, but, yeah. So, that was EA. Yeah. Start of the E3 madness. So hype going into it. Just not yeah, it's kind of gone of dead now. Uh, we've got a number of hours before Bethesda, though. Yeah. But Bethesda might actually show something pretty Bethesda cool. might show, like we said, like we said in the, the prediction stuff, like, Bethesda has a lot of room to pull something out of Yeah, they could do something really here. Cool. Um, Pray to. Pray to, maybe. So see our thoughts, stay yeah. tuned to the site, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel to see all the videos that we've got coming up, yep. and we will see you after Bethesda.